so yes, Planicon happened. Woo! So today is Wednesday and Planicon was last weekend, weekend just gone, although it kind of feels like it was yesterday because basically after Planicon I just had to spend two days in bed recovering because stupid illness. But anyway, in this video I'm going to show you what came in the Planicon goodie bag. I have already published my vlog video which if you have not seen I will link it or you know what YouTube's like it's probably up in the suggested at the side or the bottom or the front or the in your face I don't know, it depends what device you are watching me on right now but yeah so this is my second video with the goodie bag and I'll just do like a bit kind of like five to ten minutes of chatting about the event itself my next video will be of my haul of stuff I bought stuff that I got from the swap table and something else I've never forgotten what it is, but you'll find out soon enough. And then the last video is technically nothing to do with Planicon itself. Um, you may have seen a snippet of it if you saw my vlog of uh, myself, Gemma of Gemma Rose Crafts, plus Zoe and Alice um, doing some silly what sits in the hotel room with some whiteboards. So you will see what that is about in a few days. I have edited it all. I'm just, just staggering, staggering in the publishing. So, yes, Planicon, oh my goodness, it was incredible. It was such a good weekend. It really was just amazing. Like, I'm not, I'm not very good at wording right now. I'm still, my head is still a bit, ugh. Um, but yeah, wow. So I just have like the little thing, <laughs> the, of like the events of the day. So yes, Saturday we had talks from, uh, and Hawkins, who is like a business person, I she said and I can't remember. I do have notes on all the talks, but one, they're in a different room, and two, when I write notes to myself, that is like swearing in them, like they're just for me. So anyway, so I'm not going to show you the notes. Hiccup, because of that reason. But um, Anne Hawkins was talking about basically in the shortest possible way, so I don't go on and on. Um, it was about your goals and how to prioritize them, how to make time for them, how to balance them around all the other things of your life that you have to do, things that you can't avoid, like, you know, work, uh, housework, cooking, cleaning, going shopping, looking after kids if you have kids or looking after other family members or whatever, all the stuff you have to do, stuff that you want to do, all of that and prioritising. And she did this jar theory thing where like your goals are the big eggs and the, uh, blah, 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 blah. not very good at explaining, but as I understand it, Anna, as in Anna, Mrs. Brimbles, did a video or a blog post on that at some point. She posted about this in our Planicon group. So if I can find it, I will link that so you can understand more because I'm not explaining that very well, am I? No. So the next speaker after Anne Hawkins was Steve Morton. I should say between all these things, there was loads of breaks, time for shopping and coffee and all of that, but you don't need me to explain what a break is to you, do you? I don't think you do. But yes, so Steve Morton, sort of of Filofaxi fame, Filofaxi with the PH, you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, you know, I'll put links, anyway, but yes, so Steve was talking about um, how like things like change over time but our planners are always the same kind of thing, again I'm really rubbish at explaining and other people have explained it much better, there was one funny moment though when he, um, about halfway through the talk he said something like, and now we're going to talk about like decorated planners and it's kind of well known on like the Filofaxi blog and stuff the planner decoration of like the Erin Condren sticker style and no white space sticker style it's not exactly popular in that arena so he said that and I looked across the table to Gemma like dude better be careful because there are a lot of people in this room who like decorating their planners but he basically said stickers are good so yay, you may have seen that in my vlog anyway. And there was a great, tremendous cheer when he said that because I think we were all just like, what are you gonna say about our stickers? But it was fine. So yes, that was really interesting. And then there were loads of questions for Steve and um, someone said about how many planners he has. And I don't think he actually gave us a number. I don't think, like I think he said that he's got rid of a lot of them, but he never gave us an official number. And I still, unless I missed it, which is, quite possible but I kind of still want to know the answer to that question yes and then the third speaker was someone called Emma Wilcox and her talk was also about goals but in a slightly different way in that um 
So she had us each draw a pyramid and then like compartmentalize it off, make little bricks, draw little bricks on it. And then um, the, the top of the pyramid was our goal. And then we had to work out all the tiny, tiny little steps up the pyramid to get to that goal and how to, yes, what, even, like even the smallest little thing per day, like spending five minutes a day on your goal, like five minutes really isn't much time at all, is it really? So just that little, little thing. And she was saying like how, if you do that tiny little thing, then if someone asks you how, oh, how's it going, then you can actually say, I have done this, no matter how small it is, then you can actually say, I have done this thing, which I really liked that idea. My goodness, one, day, one of these days, I'm gonna sort out the lighting of when I do vlog type videos, because just half my face is just lit up like, like an angel, except not an angel, I'm half angel, half dark. <laughs> but anyway, that's by, by, by the by, I'm rambling. I'm very, still very tired. I and mean, then actually just before that, because we had a very long lunch, which I appreciated, nice long break, but um, there was a photo booth open, you know, one of those things where you put silly hats and stuff on, so we got a couple of photos from there. Uh, I don't know if I've put them on my Instagram yet, I don't know, but if you haven't seen them, then they, they will probably appear in some scrapbook or smashbook spreads very soon. But yes, what was after that? So yes, then there was the blogger slash YouTuber Q&A panel, which included Anna, Anna Brim herself, uh, Rachel Blundell, very well known, the owner and designer of Early Bath Design Stickers, and she does a lot of like Bible, bar, Bible, Bible, Bible <laughs> journaling stuff, then Geraldine Jane, very also very well known for her beautiful creative um, journaling and stuff, Chloe Murray, also very, very well known of her scrapbooky things, and dogs. Um, and then also on the panel was yours truly. Yep. So yeah, I've said in my vlog how I was a bit nervous about it, but so you've either already seen that or go watch it, but yeah, so that happened and I think it went okay. I don't know. There was a couple of things like I wish I'd said, like, oh, I should have said that, stupid me. But yes, it was that happened yeah that happened and um it was such an honor to be asked to be on it so thank you so much anna if you are on the off chance you're watching for the honor of being on the panel especially with all those people that are so well known and there's a little on me just like hey so yeah that happened followed by a planner stack photo the uh you know you have if you have a planner meet there has to be a planner stack it's the law um, I think there was 193 planners in total, which considering there was 130 of us there, actually, actually I thought that was the lowish number. But that was partially because like, I don't think everyone brought all their planners. Like I brought three with me. I brought my two Kiki Ks um, and well, I have three now, but two of my Kiki Ks and my A5 Ugly Dory. But I, because I'm really, really funny about my Kiki Ks because they're white. I'm so funny about marks on them and if like someone with a if like a black planner had been placed on top or something I was like I can't I can't I can't do it I'm sorry I'm sorry so I only threw in my ugly dory because it's a hardy hardy thing um and it was just sitting at the top because I ended up chatting to someone and I was late for the planner's deck oops but yes 193 or not 195 I'm not sure but that's a lot of planners and go check out my instagram or the hashtag cams c-a-m-b-s planner con if you want to see photos of the planner stack. So then we had a long time for dinner. It was supposed to be like a crafty supper because we were having either fish and chips or sausage and chips. Um, like they couldn't serve all 130 people at once, obviously, because it was all freshly cooked. So we were kind of going up table by table. And the idea was that because not everyone was eating at once that you would like craft while you waited. But for me, I get very hangry. And so I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't get all my planner and craft stuff out and then with the knowledge that at any point soon I would have to put it away and make room for food, does that make sense? So yes, I personally didn't, a lot of people did, but I couldn't, I can't set up something in the knowledge that I'm going to have to suddenly pack it away. So I personally didn't, but it was fine, you know, we had plenty to talk about, plenty to chat, but, you know, people with all the same passion around you. Um, what's next? I need to open my phone again. Then there was a raffle and Mrs. Never Wins Anything won a prize. Where did I put it? I'll show you the prize. So I didn't get a big thing, but I got a Webster's Pages tassel charm. So yay, and it's beautiful and it's white and gold. So it will go beautifully on my um, 
KKK polls good. So yes, I broke my losing streak. Hooray! So yes, then there was that happened. <laughs> and there were loads of prizes as well, like so many prizes. Like I don't know who who all the donators were, but wow. Then after that there was like a disco, but unfortunately everyone I think was so worn out from like such a busy, intense day that there wasn't exactly like a mad woo crazy party. Um we left at 10, I think. Um, I was just so tired, so, so tired. I don't sleep well in hotel rooms because I just, I'm not in my own bed, but even I just kind of, <sighs> so yes, but yeah. So that was Saturday. Then Sunday opened with a workshop from Geraldine um, about creative journaling. And I've put a lot of her talk in my vlog video. So go look at that. But we were also provided with things to use in the creative journaling which I can't show you right now because I'm not entirely sure what bag it's in. I will show you in the next video, in the haul video, what exactly was in the bag but there was a bunch of stuff, like really nice stuff, like it was so generous the stuff we had to use and then we created a journal spread which I will show you because I know exactly where it is. So, wow! Here we go, these are the pages I created in the little creative journaling session and quite happy with those. Not really my kind of usual colours and stuff as well so it was even more of a exciting thing to go out of my usual colours and that so you know worked with what we had. We were all given a spray like a pigment ink spray and we kind of I think I got a yellow one and Maddie next to me got a red one so we all sort of shared them around to make orange and other people got blue and stuff so everyone was like sharing their bits and stuff. It was a really really nice nice little experience. I think everyone really really enjoyed that so like Massive kudos to Geraldine for that workshop because it was awesome. And then the last thing was the Lush workshop. Again, a lot of that is in my vlog, so I'm not going to go over it in too much detail. But yes, we all basically made a little, it's not a bath bomb, it was a bath something else. Like you run it under the tap or something. I don't know. Um, but about sort of relaxing and making time for yourself and stuff like that. Um, again, in the vlog. But yes, so I, I didn't take a picture of the thing that I made. We all got to make one each and I didn't take a picture of it because I am a silly billy. Um, but I also didn't keep mine. I gave it, well, I actually gave it to my friend Alice's husband because he likes a bath apparently and I'm not a bath person. So I didn't keep mine, but I thought he would appreciate it. So there you are, Chris. I hope you had a lovely bath. And then, yeah, and then it was home time. So what an epic weekend again and such a big thank you to Anna and all the organizers because it was just awesome it's just so good and I haven't shown you my cup we each got a plan is gonna plan cup mine has a little sticker on it that says yay because I wanted to like know which one was mine on the table so I put a little sticker on it just so to identify my own cup this is my lanyard as well I thought you might like to see my lovely lanyard nice big lanyard as well like it sometimes they're, they're usually about half this size and because this was nice and big it meant that like you, it was quite easy to see other people's names speaking of which uh, so I'm quite shy in real life I'm terrified of going up to people so I want to say a huge huge thank you to the couple of people who came up and said hi to me like thank you so much it really meant a lot if I said anything weird I'm sorry I'm not very good on, on the spot I'm just like nah, I don't know what to say I'm gonna say something stupid and then inevitably I say something stupid um, because I'm me, I don't remember any names, but sorry about that. But thank you to those people. Um, I really wish I'd gone, I'd spoken to more people, to be honest, but I just need to, need to get better at that. Just, like, it's kind of the knowledge that you know they would be fine if you come and said hi, but you still get them to that step of, hello, can be hard work. So, yes, in the future, make an effort to speak to more people but again thank you to the people who came and said hi because that was awesome. Okay I think that's enough talking let's do the thing that you're here to see which is the goodie bag. I haven't talked about any of the shops or anything but I will talk about that in the whole video because I think I bought from most places so yes watch out for that video. Okay so goodie bag says plan is gonna plan to match the cup. And yeah, so I'm just going to dive in and pull things out one at a time and attempt to cover all the discount codes. <laughs> Whoops. And I will also try and link all the shops below, but that's going to take me ages. So I might publish the video before I ran all that out. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Look in the description box and see what it says. But at some point there will be links to all the shops. So yes, I'm going to pull things out now. 
All right, there's a lot of um, like little discount code cards and stuff in there. So I don't know if I'll show, be able to show you all of them, but this one is double sided. So I can show you this side without showing you the discount code. Um, this is a new kind of uh, calendar style planner for people to try out. So there's a discount code for that. There is a little bag of goodies from Crafty Alley. I think every meetup goodie bag I've ever had has got something from Crafty Alley. Bless her. She seems so lovely. I haven't spoken to her, but obviously a lovely person. Um, and as always, it's just like a mix of stuff. So in here, there's like some planner inserts, um, this lovely, lovely like page marker paper clip. I love that I got a bluish one, yay, or a turquoise one. There's like some tags, some postcards, all kind of things like that. So that's the first thing. Then this is probably one of the most well-known popular items from the goodie bag. This is a notebook from Say Nice Things. As you see, it comes in this lovely display box and now I'm dropping things. So in there, there was this little card about the um, package and a little signature by who it was packed. Some little stickers of like the Say Nice Things logo. Then there's this, which I haven't opened yet. I should probably say at this point, I haven't properly looked through the goodie bag yet. I was going to do it in the hotel on Saturday night after we were given them, but I was just so tired. And I like to be able to just like sit and look at everything to take it all in. Like, I had like a little look at the table, but I couldn't really like sit and look through it all at the table because it's just too much going on. I like to be able to just sit and look in quiet. But anyway, so point is, haven't looked through this myself yet. So anyway, some postcards from saying those things. So we got for you because you're fab. This lovely heart with um, silver foil wings. That is really lovely. Have I told you lately that I heart you with pink yeah. foiling? Congratulations and celebrations. And the last one is like a say nice things one. So it just says, it's oh, like say nice things. And on the back, it's got like a referral thing as well. So there's that. So next we have this little card that's got like a competition. So when you share a picture of your notebook, which don't worry, I'm about to show you, um, on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, the image with the most likes by the end of May 2017 will win the prize of 50 pound worth of say nice things stationery. So I am gonna post a picture later today and make sure to go and like it for me. Joking, you don't have to like it, but it would be nice. Anyway, so the notebook itself looks like this and it's this cover is really tactile. Mm. So how well is that showing up? You can see that it's got little bikes on it, which is very, very cute. The one thing, oh, I, I don't know if I can show you there, but one of the bikes is in white. I really, really like that. Now, I'm kind of torn because my sister really likes stationery. I mean, she's not like us, like the way we, you and I love stationery, but she does like stationery. And she's also a cyclist, so I'm just like, I kind of should give this to her and it's her birthday in a bit, a month and a bit and I'm just like, I should give this to her but I also want it for me. So yeah, it's kind of kind of torn on that one. But oh, I think I haven't even opened it yet. Look, it's fine ruled. Look, fine ruled. Oh, I might just have to keep it for me. And then there's the little logo at the bottom of each page. I don't know how well I'm showing that. Look there. Oh, fine ruled. Oh. And it's quite nice paper as well. Oh, I am torn. What do I do? And there's an elastic as well. Let me just show you the elastic there. So, what to do? And just as a little extra, for happy mailers such as myself, great box. Awesome box for sending for books. Thank you. Okay, next is a load of stickers from, I think someone told me this is from Personal Planner, so I hope I'm right on that, but it's a big... Is that A4? I think that's A4. Yeah, it's A4. Load of stickers, lots of little icon stickers and flags and banners and all sorts of things like that. So I really, really like those. And they're perforated along here. So I might actually separate them to put in my planner. You will see. There are some discount codes, which I can't show you, obviously, from Notes and Clips and my Unicorn Planner. Then we have... Okay, now I need to cover up the... the the discount code how am I going to do this and show you okay there we go so a sticker sampler from hazy days UK I thought it was UK so that's what that looks like that's very lovely 
Then some stickers from Mrs. Brimbles, and I had to laugh when I saw these in the goodie bag because, um, so these were in, ooh, I can't remember what box last year they were in, but they were in a box from last year and um, I've pretty much finished mine and I was gonna buy another one and she had them at her stall and I forgot to buy one and I was like, oh, I'll get another one tomorrow. Like it's, it's still there, it'll be fine. And then there was one in the goodie bag. So woohoo, yay, well chuffed about that. Then I've taken these ones out of the bag because there was two sheets to show you, but these are from Philo Fabulous, who also had a store there, which I have purchased from, so I can show you that in the next video. But there is this sampler sheet with all these lovely things on. That little floral one there is beautiful. And then this one, I'm covering up the code, but there is a load of uh, foiled samplers, so coffee and glasses ones, really love those. Then from Beautiful Planning, there is a sample sheet with like some banners and there's some like little emojis down there, a quote, a little baggie of paper clips and a sherbet stick. Then from Ellie Beth Designs, there's a little card there, is a lovely sample sheet with all the rainbows and the famous Ellie Beth butterflies. I love this box sticker here. And then the sticker eight sort of thing that you can use as a dashboard or whatever you want. I have to say, I had a brief conversation with Rachel at her store and she's like the loveliest person ever like so lovely so hello Rachel if you're watching you are lovely okay <laughs> moving on then we have a sampler from sticking with the Joneses or stick with the Joneses it was sticking and now it's stick they changed their name but there's a little sampler there I've just remembered they had a shop the stall at the con and it was one of the few shops that I didn't buy from and nothing against the shop whatsoever it was just that halfway through lunchtime when I on the Saturday when I did the majority of my shopping I had a bit of a health thing and had to go and escape outside for like 15 minutes on my own just to chill and get my head together so I forgot to buy from that store but I have the discount code so now I could order but anyway there is the little um sampler there then these flat paper clips from Freckle Fawn, love those. And from the Scrapbook Girl, the Scrapbook Girl, also known as Kelly, hi Kelly. Um, these lovely um, insets, which are personal sized and have like the Cam's Planet Con floral logo on. I just love this logo so much. And these are like the thickest, sturdiest insets. Ever. I love them and then there's this little baggie which I haven't looked inside it just says handmade with love so I have no idea what's in here very exciting let's just, just have a look here come out oh look I just have to show you properly it's like a little a little cup that's got like pens and scissors and stuff inside how how cute is that? I love, love, love that. Then from Gemma of Gemma Rose Crafts, you all know Gemma, she made these beautiful ribbon um, paper clips. I'll just open it up to show you better. There was all sorts of different colours as well. I don't know all of the colours that she did, but I am super chuffed that I got the black one because, you know, I like black. So yes, I love this. And then as I said, I'm so happy I got the black, yay! I mean, if I hadn't have got the black, I probably could have said, hey, Gemma, make me a black one. But they were all lovely, so yes, got that. <laughs> then I have to say this is one of my favourite items in the goodie bag for the re main reason being that it's something I desperately needed. And this is a planner band um, made by Pierongs. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, I really wanted a planner band for my um, journal because, you know, I stick so many things in my journal that... It's just, it's just popping open. I'll tell you what, I will show you what I mean. So this is my journal and this is the situation we have going on with my journal and it's not even halfway filled. So it's becoming a bit of an issue. But now I have my Pirong's planner band to keep it behaving. That's not very straight. To keep it behaving. So I am so, so friggin' chuffed about that. So yay! Okay, let's get a move on because this video is getting a bit long. So this is from Project Plan on Etsy. Look at that little washi tape. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. A little needle felt paper clip from Cherry Blossom in the Market Square. My one is green, but I believe there were many, many colours available. A little sampler from Paper, Pen and Plan with little bunnies on. 
a lovely nice big sampler from Anna's Planner Bubble. Look at all those. I love, love, love those. Especially, where is it gone? The little parcel delivery thing. I like that a lot. We have discounts from Little Dragon Jewelry, from uh, Pen Gems. Obviously, you can't lift those up and show you. I'm sorry about that. Then from the Lizzie Papers, a Cam's Planner Comp mini planner, which I haven't looked at, but we'll do so now. And, do, 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 do. and there's a discount code on the back as well, which is for 50% off. Woohoo! So, yes, if I just pull this out. So it is a mini actual planner for May. So there's a calendar there and then like a week there and a some daily pages there. So that is super, super cute. There is a sampler from Tea Time Plans, um, which, oh, that's really, really cute. All those like hand drawn, those are really, really lovely. And um, Wendy, I actually spoke to at the con, lovely, lovely lady. Um, Really nice meeting you and everything. And she also rescued my little pillow. I have a little pillow in my car for my back and I have it have it like at the con as well. And I left it in the hotel room and she rescued it for me. So thank you so much for that as well. Anyway, yes, yeah, so those are the stickers from there. Love, love, love those. Then there is a pen topper from the Lollipop Box Club. Very, very sweet. I just like the ribbons getting in the way there, but there you can see that there. Then this absolutely beautiful um, rose paper clip from um i think that's is that sharon kenny or kerry i'm really really sorry i can't read your writing and my glasses are not are in any not in the vicinity so i'm really sorry but instagram is sharon hkl i think and i'm just gonna hold it up and you can read it yourself okay go go follow that thing but yes beautiful then from the Novelty Corner, an absolutely beautiful bookmark, and I, I don't, I'm assuming they were all different, I know the girls next to me had different ones, but um, mine has a little Celtic charm on the end, so yay, love the little Celtic thing, so love that. Then from Stitch and Weave, which was also a stall at the con, and one of the three that I didn't get a chance to shop at, but I'm regretting that very much, and will definitely be looking at that stuff online. But anyway, is this lovely, I'll just show you this bit here, like, it's a bookmark or a planner marker, page marker kind of thing, so I love that, and you can even wear it as a necklace, which I might do, because I really like it. Is that weird? Can I not wear it as a necklace if it's made, meant for meant for a page marker? I just really like it, and look at that little, that little bead there. So pretty! This! I don't know where it's from. There wasn't anything on the little bit of packaging that it was in. If anyone knows, let me know. But this is a very cute little sort of, you could use it as a card holder or maybe you put like little mini stickers in or mini, mini photos or something like that. Just this little flip thing here and there's pockets at the front. I don't know if I will be able to keep this, but because I think my mother has, has her eye on it. So I will probably lose this, but it's very cute. Some little sticky notes with the Eiffel Tower on. There's this. A little daily my schedule sticky notes thingamajig. I have to say, I have three of these and I've never used them. I've got they've always come in goodie bags and I'm probably not going to use this either, but it will go in the giveaway thing and someone will make use of it. Then from my pretty week, this absolutely stunning magnetic clip. Look at the floral underneath there. It says panoramic on. I really, really. Really like that. I would show you the other side, but A, I don't need to because it's the same, and also the code's on there. So, anyway, but there's that. A little sampler, 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 sampler. I'm failing miserably. Anyway, sampler from K Lime Pie, is that how you say that? I don't know, but very, very cute. Then three little things from Chocho and Mimi. One big sticker like that. Um, this little one, I've just got to have to cover up the code this little mini one here and this big one with all these different lovely lovely things on i like the coffee one in lots of colors that's really lovely then from strawberry line designs is this sampler page i really like that that will be a great kit to use in my personal size in the summer i think that will be lovely these stickers from sue store i don't know if i'm saying that right like t-s-u store su su i su i don't i don't know i'm bad with words today but yes there's those and there's also on the back i just cover up the thingy is um some little cupcake stickers and a little partner sticker as well 
Then from Planner Face is this really, really cute um, mini kit with the little bunny on. Now, it's not that I don't like this. I really, really love it. But I know someone, hey Zoe, just in case you're wondering, yes, it is you, um, who is a bunny person. And I'm probably going to send this to her because bunnies. But it is really, really beautiful. And it's not that I don't like it. I just think someone will like it more. But yes, there's that. A sample sheet from Moon Loom. Is it Moon and Loom or Moon Loom? Moon May. I don't, I don't know. There's, you can read it there. But yes, there's the sampler sheet from them. Then from Natalie Shauna Crafts is this little baggie, which I have yet to open. So this is very exciting for me, apart from the fact that I can't open it because I'm really cat handed. Why won't you open? Please open. Mm. Actually, it has just taken me the longest time ever to open this bag. I don't know what is wrong with me today. And look at my hair. Oh my goodness. I am a mess of a human being. But anywho, there is, woo! So these are these lovely teardrop shaped, you see that? Let's put it up against something. There we go. Teardrop shaped paper clips in sort of a purpley pink. Those are really pretty. And there's one, two, three, four, five of those. So those are lovely. So the very last thing, worry not, we have come to an end, is from Managing Mischief Co, who were at the con, had a store there, and I did buy from them, so you'll get to see what I bought um, in the next video. And we have one, two, three, four little samplers from them. So first is like a little cleaning related one there. Then we have the Boofles, which is like that little icon thing doing various things. What is he doing? like cooking and shopping and paying bills and that kind of thing. Then two large box stickers, clipboard, stationery type ones, really love those. And lastly, like a very functional one. Today I bought from Cost Shift Received. I like that actually, I like that a lot. Um, and little icons and stuff there. So yes, that was the goodie bag. All the amazing things. Oh my goodness, I forgot something. Something slipped past the net, a little charm from Cloudy Cow, which is super, super cute. Look at that. Aww. Anyway, I think, unless anything else has slipped the net, which is quite possible because my desk is now a massive mess, um, that was what was in the goodie bag. So absolutely incredible. I will try and link everything below in the description box, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, so again, a big thank you to Anna and all the organizers. It was such an amazing weekend and Yes, go check out my vlog if you haven't done so already. There will be two more Cam's Planner Con related videos, as I have said, the haul video and the silly video. So yes, once they are up, I will link those as well. So yes, I'm gonna go and pack away all this stuff and then film my haul, so. So yes, thank you for watching and I shall be off. A goodbye. <laughs>